about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Mr. Prescott, drilling is complete. We're through the Earth's mantle. Wonderful, Andrews. It's been a long, dangerous job, but we succeeded. Well, come on, Andrews, don't keep me in suspense. What's beneath the Earth's crust? Seawater, sir. Plain, ordinary seawater. What are you talking about, man? I've checked and double-checked, sir. There's definitely an ocean under the mantle. We spent years drilling through silt and rock just to find more sea? Yes, sir. But it's an important discovery. Important? Of course it's important. Heaven knows what life that sea holds. We've got to find out. Contact the World Aquanaut Security Patrol at Marineville. Well, phones, the packing's all done. Yeah, it's great to be going on vacation. Uh, I, I wonder how the girls are making out. Ah, oh, there. We finally closed it. It's a pity we couldn't have taken all we wanted, Marina, but Troy did say we were traveling light. Okay, phones, let's collect the girls and be on our way. Sure thing, Troy. Troy, will you come up to the control tower right away? It's pretty important. Okay, Commander Shore. I'll be right there. Thanks. And bring the others along, will you? Right. What's he cooking up? Oh, he probably just wants to wish us bon voyage, that's all. Ah, you're here. Yes, sir. We're all set for our vacation. Yeah, yes, you are. That kind of makes it harder. How do you mean, sir? What's wrong? I'm canceling your furlough, Captain. Canceling it? Commander, we're all packed. But, Father, we've been planning this vacation for months. It's all arranged. Now, don't make it any tougher than it is already. Your furlough's canceled, and that's final. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Atlanta, but Stingray is needed. Why Stingray? You've got other vessels you could use. Yeah, I have, but I happen to think Troy and Phones are the only men for the job. Even if it means spoiling all our plans? No point in getting mad, Atlanta. The commander's made up his mind, and I guess that's it. Stingray will report to the undersea mantle boring base at 0900 hours. There, you'll be acquainted with the mission. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Okay, release elevators. Release elevators. about this drilling operation, Troy? Well, it seems that they're boring through the Earth's crust. Heaven knows why. Guess we'll know more about it in a couple of hours when we reach the base. camp from 
Stingray. Permission to enter base. Stingray from drilling camp. Proceed. been to find out what is beneath the Earth's crust. Now, that question mark can be removed. We know what is down there, at this point anyway. An ocean. An ocean? So where do we come in? That is your job to explore it and find out just how deep it goes. I think we ought to warn you, you'll be completely on your own. We have no idea of the dangers you may encounter. We've taken soundings, but for some reason, radio waves do not travel down there. That means we won't be able to contact you. Right. You'll be cut off completely from the outside world. Okay. When do we start? Anytime you're ready. An elevator will lower you two miles through the crust to the subterranean ocean. Well, the sooner we do the job, the quicker we'll be on vacation. Instead of basking in the sun, we're getting farther away from it. Okay, Phones, don't rub it in. Did you ever hear about this sea marina? We're halfway down there, Troy. Boy, this elevator sure moves fast. We're nearing the end of the shaft. Yeah, we'll soon be reaching the subterranean sea. We're down. Check rear hydroplanes. Acceleration rate one. Rear hydroplanes set for launch. Acceleration rate one. Okay, here we go. Into the unknown. Okay, phones, let's dive. Main ballast, a thousand. Show is black down here, Troy. Yeah. What depth are we? Hey, the instruments, they've gone crazy. Mm, that figures. We're deeper than any craft's ever been before. The meter just can't gauge it. Okay, let's go deeper. Okay, skip them. That light, it's blinding. And those rocks seem to be made of some kind of glass. Yeah, they're fluorescent. Look how they glow. They're giving off a green light now. Gee, that's better. What fantastic colors. Say, Troy, do you notice anything about that seaweed? Yeah, it all leans in one direction, the way we're going. There must be a pretty strong current down here. You can say that again. We're going down to slope phones, and we're picking up speed. We're going still faster phones, slower down. I can't, Troy. She, she doesn't respond to the controls. We're out of control, Troy. And we're still going down. Look out for those rocks! Hang on, we're gonna roll over.
What happened? Oh. Oh. My head. Oh, yeah. I remember. We were out of control. And then the crash. Are you okay, Marina? Bones? Bones! Oh, wow. What hit us? I don't know, but it had the effect of a hurricane or a tidal wave. Stingray seems to be okay, though. Let's try the motors. I don't get it, Bones. All systems are green. But that noise... Sounds as though we're running in the dry. Uh, try it again, Troy. The water's gone. We're beached on the ocean bed. But how, Troy? There were thousands of feet of water above us. Not now, so let's get out and take a look. Better put on our skin suits and breathing gear. We want to be prepared for anything. I don't imagine there's any air down here. Marina's okay, Troy. Marina can breathe in or out of water. But down here, there's no air or water. So let's take no chances. Give her a mask. Yeah, I never thought of that. Okay, Marina. Let's go. is an ocean, and then it becomes a desert. Phones. This is some crazy dream. It sure feels like one. Well, let's carry on, see what we can find out. Gee, it's getting hot. Look at those rocks. They're red hot. Yeah. My feet are sizzling. Say, we must be close to the center of the Earth. Yeah, that's where the heat's coming from. What's wrong, Marina? Phone, she wants us to listen to something. Well, I can't hear a thing. It's as quiet as a morgue. Wait. I hear it now. 
That roaring sound again. Bones, the water's coming back. Come on, back to Stingray and fast. Run, Bones, Marina, run! <laughs> Steady, Bones. We've got to keep her on an even keel. Rear hydroplane's automatic. Acceleration rate six. Rate six. What's it all about? I, I can't figure it. I can only think of one answer, Phones. This subterranean sea has a tide like any other sea. Except it's a little more forceful. You mean this happens every day? Maybe. Maybe many times a day. This sea has a flood tide every time. Yeah, I, I guess that would explain it. But uh, how about the desert? Well, maybe when the water goes, the heat from the center of the earth dries out the sand immediately. Yeah. Well, let's get back to civilization. Work out the location of that shaft, will you? Troy, I, I can't. All the instruments have been shattered. Oh, no. That's all we need. Our air won't last. We've got to get out and back to the surface. I guess there's no use trying to radio for help. How about the sound scanner? Is it working? That's our last hope. It's working, Troy, but the scanner just shows the impulse bouncing off the bottom of the Earth's crust. Keep at it, Phones. We've got to find that shaft. Three hours in the same note. Oh, this is hopeless, Troy. We've got to keep trying. It's all we can do. The air 
Claire's running out phones. They change? No, Troy. Still the same, no. Troy, we are there. It's an opening. It must be the shaft. No, it's a different one. But we'll have to take a chance. Stand by to surface. Blow one. I can see light. We're nearly there, phones. We're on the surface. Yeah, Troy. A beautiful island. I wonder what part of the world we're in. I don't know, but it sure looks like paradise to me. We've come up into a lagoon. Yeah, that's it. Come on, let's have a look around. Take her in, phones. Yeah, I guess we owe ourselves that much. I just don't believe it. Well, I guess they may as well stay on the island until the end of their vacation. What does the card say, Atlanta? Wish you were here. All my love, Troy. Isn't that just my luck? Oh, this is the life, Troy. Yep, it sure is. Close to my heart. 